welcome back. Let's write some code already. Uh, so if we want to use this uh, client code, switch over to my project here. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create what's called a service object. This service object is going to be how we actually like create a query and then the service object actually executes it for us. So it goes off, it talks to the back end, uh, and then it comes back with data. So go ahead and open uh, masterviewcontroller.m. So we're going to start uh, adding some uh, code here. And what I want you to do is I want you to say at property, uh, and then you can write strong non-atomic or non-atomic strong. They're the same. doesn't matter. And we want to do a GTL service movie quotes. So this is a service object uh, that was created specifically for movie quotes. Um, and we're going to go ahead and create the property here. All right, so we've got that property. Uh, I also fixed up, I was missing some pound defines that I think you already had. Um, so we've got this service object. And what we want to do is whenever somebody asks for it, if it doesn't exist yet, we want to lazily load it, right? So we're going to do the lazy loading trick that we've done before. So I'm just going to scroll to the very bottom of this um, and I'm going to, well, I'm going to make an area. So I'm going to make a pragma mark uh, endpoints. And I like to do that because if you do things like that, then in your drop down over here, it'll like have a nice delineated area for endpoints. And the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and override the GTL service movie quotes that provides the service. Um, and this is actually an override. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say if the underlying service object is nil, uh, then of course what I want to do in here is make a new one. Uh, in order to make a new one, uh, it's the basics are pretty simple. We just uh, do an alloc init like we've done many times. So we alloc and then init. And then we uh, return it. Which is of course what our getter was kind of expecting. So that's the basics, right? So if it doesn't exist, create it. We are going to add a little bit more uh, onto this guy. And so one of the things we're going to add is uh, setting retries on it. So retry enabled, uh, we're going to set that to yes. So now we've set retry enabled. We're also going to do one more thing, uh, and that's using those constants that I had to kind of quickly add. Um, we're going to sometimes be talking to the real deployed version, uh, and sometimes we're going to be talking to localhost. So there's a flag in here that says, are we doing localhost testing? Well, right now it's set to no, so we're actually going to go to the deployed version. Uh, but if it was set to yes, um, instead of pointing at uh, the real location, we would point at this location. Now, there's a lot of crazy things going on in this, in this line. Localhost 8080, that's the main one you care about. The rest of this, like the path and the print pretty, to be honest, like the only way I knew uh, what that was supposed to be was I looked at, you know, what the real one is. Here's what the real one is, right? So it's FisherDS Movie Quotes App Spot Com. So I just replaced that chunk with localhost, and then the rest is the same, right? AH API, you've seen that before, and then RPC is the path that it wants in iOS. That's just how it works, and then the print pretty false means make it as efficient as possible, right? All right, so let's go ahead and write the rest of this guy. And so what we're going to do is we're going to say um, if localhost testing, so if that was set to true, then on the service object, so it's going to point somewhere different. Uh, and the place where it's going to point is a URL with string of the localhost testing RPC URL. Um, and so this is just going to point us somewhere different. To be honest, these APIs are not secured in any way. So if I wanted to, I could just I could point to Dr. Baltel's, right, and I can get his quote. Maybe I'll prove that later. Um, but this uh, flag is going to be so we could switch to localhost testing if we wanted. So that's really the meat of what I wanted to cover this time. So we're creating a service object. That's step number one. Um, but just because this video is kind of short, we're going to throw on another little helper method that we need later. Um, and that's when you're doing communication, there could be a lot of errors. So we're going to write a helper method uh, just to 
uh, show error messages. So we're going to call it show error dialog. <coughs> and it's going to receive an error. So if you just want a quick way to show an error dialog, this is, this is what's going to do it for us. And we're going to make an alert view. And we're going to do a, the big init on it. So init with title. So the title is just going to say error. Uh, you can also say endpoints error if you would like. Uh, and then the message is going to be something from the error itself. Um, the thing that you most, that's the most human readable within an error is the localized description. Make this a little bit more human readable. Uh, so the localized description is what we're going to print out in the message. Delegate is if you want to do something when a button's clicked. We don't really want to do anything, so we'll just set the delegate to nil. Other buttons that are none, so we'll just say nil. Uh, so pretty simple there, and then what we want to do is if somebody calls this function, we'll just show it. So this is just a little helper, uh, just because there's got to be a lot of errors, and it'd be a shame to have to write, you know, all this code every time. Um, so this little helper will, uh, will be something we use later. All right, that's it for this video. We just created a service object. Don't worry, we'll do something with it next time. See you then.